Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to make a save and load position script. Basically, when you play the game, wherever you leave is the same spot you'll reload in when you join the game again. So it's pretty simple to make. If you're watching this video the day it's uploaded, then the model is only going to be in my plugin and the preset scripts on here, load position on join. Um, you can wait till the next day for it to be released on my Discord server, like in the description below. You can buy the plugin, or I'm going to show you how to make it right now. So you can insert a script in server script service. Now we, want, we just want to define a couple things. So local data store service equals game get service data store service. And then local pause data for position data equals data store service get data store. Uh, we'll just do pause like that. Now we have to make some functions. So we're going to do a function for setting up the data, saving the data, and updating the data. So let's start with the setup data. So local setup data player character like that oh local function you gotta you gotta put a function before it not just that local function like that and then we just do local value equals instance dot new c frame value local uh value dot name equals position value dot parent equals player now we're gonna do a p call to get the data. Um, a p call is basically just um, it checks if like an error is in the script and it won't break, but it'll just tell you the error. So we just do local good bad equals p call function like that, and then we do local data equals pause data get async player dot user id. The user id is gonna be the key we use to save the data since it can't change. So their data will always stay the same. Then we do if data, then local deserialized, deser, I'm spelling it wrong, deserialized, deserial, deserialized. And basically this is going to let us um, unpack the C frame because you're not, you're not able to save C frames like uh, in a data store. Just by itself you have to you know wrap it and this is going to unpack it so we'll just do this equals c frame dot new table dot unpack data and we're going to pack the table um later on in the script so then we do value dot value equals deserialized and then character set primary part c frame value dot value and then we just do else value dot value equals character set primary part c frame or no wait character find first child human root part dot c frame this is basically if there's no data then it's going to make the data the um current like position and now underneath this end right here we do if good then print loaded data else warn bad basically this is gonna if the script works it's gonna say load of the data if it doesn't work it'll warn us the error like that so that's the setup data done now we're gonna do save data so local save data player local good I keep freaking to put function I keep forgetting to put function local function save data player Local good bad equals p call function. The same we did before. Local serialized uh, equals, and then we want to put the table uh, brackets player find first child position. So we're going to find the position value dot value get components. So this is going to get the C frame components and put them in the table so we can save them. Um, now we just do position data, set async, player dot user ID, serialized like that. Now we do the same that we did here. If good, then print saved, else warn bad.
now uh, we're gonna do the update data, which is only like two lines. So local function update data player character. Local value equals player find first child position five. Now this can wait five seconds. Um, so does it just like look at it and if it's not there then it errors. Uh, so we will just wait a little bit. Value dot value equals character find first child humanoid root part dot c frame. So every time we call the update data function, it's just gonna update the value. So we're gonna do that like every five seconds. Now we just have to do the player added function, and the player moving function. So game dot players dot player added connect function player player dot character added connect function character setup data player character while task dot wait five do update player or update data player character so when they join the game it's going to set up their data and then every five seconds it's going to update it now we do player moving which is just saving the data so game dot players dot player removing connect function player save data player and that's the script done make sure in your <coughs> game settings you go to security and make sure allow http requests is on and enables your access to api services is on and then go ahead and click play so we're going to open the output here so we can see hold on okay so it was just uh it was just an error with my uh because i had a data store with the same name and i saved the wrong data so it was just erroring so that shouldn't happen but like i said so you go to the position in your character the position value every five seconds it'll update to where you are and then you leave and then it should say save data so saved and then you play again and then it should load us back to where we were like that yeah so is if this video helped you uh, make sure to subscribe leave a like you can join my discord server link in the description below and wait for the model to be released if you want to type it all out or you can buy a plugin uh, to support me.